you had a solid start. You jumped out to a 45-30 lead despite the first half turnovers, but nothing seemed to work in the second half. Could you put your finger on anything? Nothing worked the last uh, 30 minutes of the game. Um, we played a good first 18 minutes, and then uh, they turned up the defense and uh, just dominated us at both ends after that. Um, two biggest problems. Again, we were doing a great job early in the year not fouling people. Now they're on the line all the time. The comeback at the end of the first half was largely fueled by them being at the free throw line all the time. Um, so that was a, a big problem. And then our turnovers. I mean, so there's a 12, there's a differential of 12 turnovers. And, you know, there's a differential of what, 18 free throw attempts or whatever. I mean, you're, you're, you're going to have a hard time winning against a team like the Lakers um, if you're giving the ball away and putting them at the free throw line. We didn't, we didn't leave ourselves much of a chance tonight. We did a really poor job of handling their pressure yourself on being a very good rebounding team. How frustrating was it, though, to watch the Lakers rebound misses at the free throw line? Yeah, I was uh, not happy with that. There was a lot I wasn't happy with, but we just, you know, over the last 30 minutes of that game, um, they were the far better team. Hey, Stan, uh, Christian Clark here at Goal.com. I know, I mean, I know turnovers have been you know, among the biggest points of emphasis. I mean, just how frustrating is it that, is it that that continues to, to crop up? Yeah, I mean, listen, we're going on a, you know, a problem that's been going on for a long time. And, you know, it, it's going to, to take an individual focus from each guy um, to be better about it. So um, I think we know collectively that it's a problem. Um, I don't know if we've taken that to uh, to an individual level, and instead of we have to start stop turning the ball over, um, each guy's got to take more of an attitude of I've got to stop turning the ball over. Hey Stan, this is uh, Will from the Athletic. Just how did you come up the way uh, your team kind of closed the game out? It seemed like you know the league just kept going and kept going. Did you, did you feel like your team competed all the way to the end? Look, it was 84 to 79, right? We got it back to five. Um, it showed four on the board, but then they changed one of JJ's uh, threes to a two. So it was 84 to 79, and I think from there it was a 26 to six run. Um, we, we give up huge runs in games, like, and our defense loses its edge, and offensively, um, you know, the other team's pressure takes us out of offense and we become very, very individual and just trying to hit home runs. So um, it's something we've got to change. The other night, it was at the end of the first half. I mean, 24 to 4 run at the end of the second quarter. So we're not talking like a 10 to 2 run or a 12 to 4 run. I mean, we're giving up these 20 point runs in a matter of five, six minutes. I mean, that's tough to survive against anybody, but when you're coming playing teams like the Clippers and the Lakers um, and you can't stem those kind of runs, uh, it's going to be really, really difficult. So it was frustrating not to be able to, uh, to stem the run at all, um, you know, by doing what we needed to do at either end of the floor. So I don't know. And Scott Kershner and Noel.com, uh, I had actually a similar uh, question, but now that you mentioned that, uh, you know, do you feel like this is an offense kind of hurting a defense right now, or do you think it's a defense hurting an offense, or is it even possible to decipher the difference right now when things went as badly as they did in that second half? Well, yeah, it all snowballs, right? So if you're not stopping anybody, Scott, then you're facing set defense against the best defense in the league all the time. And if you're not scoring, and especially when you're turning the ball over, then they're out in transition. So the answer is yes, the defense is hurting the offense and the offense is hurting the defense. So it's all sort of going together. It's, it's, not, it's not just one or the other. It's a, you know, in those runs, I, I would say it's, it's both and it's a total, uh, a total collapse at that point. Hey, it's uh, Andrew from ESPN. Um, you mentioned uh, uh, maybe a few games ago, 
you wanted to see Zion get the rebound and push. Seemed like he did a lot of that tonight, especially in the first half. What did you like from him uh, really kind of making the offense go early on? Yeah, I, I, listen, I, I like the way he played. I like the way he attacked, um, you know, and I, and I want to see that uh, – Continue. I like the ball in his hands, uh, pushing the ball, and I think the more we do it, the better we'll get as a team uh, of doing that. Um, I thought he was making a conscious effort to try to find people as he went. Um, I, I think he's frustrated. Um, you know, when you're big and strong in this league, uh, you just don't get calls, and I think he's frustrated by that, you know, because you don't look like – you're out of bounds. You need to flop all over the place and fall down and shit to get calls. Um, that's not how he plays. So I think he's frustrated, but I want to see him keep going. All right. Thank you.